Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby at the grocery store. I already know today is gonna to be a good day because if you can hear, they're playing the 80s soundtrack here at Whole Foods. And I wanna do a video about the top five or so foods to eat right now. Right now, because these are foods that are great for your immune system. They're vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc rich, which are very important during cold and flu season. So let's walk around the grocery store, do what we always do, tell you what to buy, what to avoid, and why. Because I want you guys healthy this fall season, and there's plenty of foods here that can help you do it, and there's a few you should avoid because they're gonna do the opposite. Less talking, more shopping, let's walk around the store. Right behind me is the fish counter, and in there is one of the most bioavailable, easy sources of vitamin D, and it comes in the form of salmon, preferably wild salmon. Salmon has a redonkulous amount of vitamin D. Why is that important? Because during the fall and winter months, vitamin D levels go down. The average American only gets about 50% of the vitamin D they need from the sunlight, and vitamin D is very important for boosting your immune system. So guess what you can supplement with that? salmon because a three and a half ounce serving of salmon has 124 percent of your daily value of vitamin d and it's not from synthetic cruddy vitamin d from a can or like a vitamin it's from a bioavailable source but i highly recommend getting wild salmon and not farm raised because even though farm raised has vitamin d it doesn't have nearly the amount of vitamin d as wild salmon and most all farm raised salmon is just cruddy it's farmed poorly it's fed gmos it's in overcrowded pens if you need a way to cook wild salmon, because I know sometimes it's boring, it can dry out easily, I do a recipe for salmon cakes that are shallow fried in avocado oil with a dairy-free tartar sauce that is amazing. But bottom line, wild salmon is such a fantastic source of vitamin D, something we need all the time, but especially during the fall and winter to boost your immune system and make you strong like bull. One of my favorite snacks this time of year that also does a big boost to my immune system is somewhere on this wall. Beep, 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 beep. Here it is. You've probably heard me talk about this before, but pumpkin seeds, especially this time of year, are so darn good for you. Why? Well, there's a lot of amazing macros right there, but I'm focused on zinc. 20% of your daily value of zinc in one serving that's a quarter cup. Zinc is so important for your immune system. Just like the vitamin D, the zinc, and the um, vitamin C. Vitamin C, D, and zinc are fantastic for the immune system, which is why I take it every day at this time of year during cold and flu season. So zinc in a readily available form is great. But do you see these other vitamins here? 20% of phosphorus, 35% of magnesium, copper 45%, manganese 50%. That's crazy nutrient dense. And see what it says right here? Sprouted pumpkin seeds. In addition to being a nutrient powerhouse, sprouted seeds or sprouted grains are so much better than regular grains. Why? When you sprout them, they're easier to digest, but you also unlock even more nutrition during the sprouting process. The only thing I don't really love is the price. These are expensive here, but go to Costco. They have the big bag. Some Costco's have this brand. Uh, some Costco's have another brand. It's a monstrous bag for literally half price. Do a quarter cup every day. That zinc is so good, good for you. Combined with the vitamin D from, say, salmon and vitamin C from acerola, now you're talking. I don't use any vitamin C from the grocery store. I talk about these being derived from ascorbic acid, which in my opinion is garbage, which is why hopefully in four to five weeks, the Flav City vitamin C capsule will be on the market and it has acerola, kamu kamu, and amla berry, the most bioavailable source of vitamin C coming to you hopefully very soon. Uh, but one thing I do take on the regular for my immune system, and you hear me talk about it all the time, is seed probiotic. Most people think about a probiotic for gut health, bowel movement, digestion. Well, this actually works for immune system boosting too. Why? Because it's all about the custom strains of bacteria used in probiotics. Most at the grocery store, in my opinion, are garbage. Number one, the custom strains and bacteria in there are not good. Number two, they never make it to your colon. This not only have 24 strains of custom bacteria that actually work, it makes it to your colon because the outer capsule is the only one that dissolves in your tummy, in the stomach acids, and the inner capsule actually makes it through your intestines to your colon to deliver the payload that are clinically proven to help with immune system, gut digestion, even skin health. If you're looking for a probiotic, I cannot say any more good things about seed. Try it out, use my link down below, 20% off, free shipping, 30 days risk-free, and it ships around the world for flat rate. Best probiotic, you will love it, especially this time of the year. It's time to try it. Use my link down below.
If I've said it once, I've said it a million times and I'll say it again. This should be in your pantry all the time, but especially during cold and flu season. Bone broth, and wow, this is a great sale. This is the 32 ounce container here. 944 is fantastic for these two. I love beef even more than chicken. This is chicken broth. That's super cheap. Just keep in mind the chicken broth is a watered down version of the bone broth. It still has a lot of collagen, but not as much. The reason why I have a pantry full of this, and by the way, my pantry is a lot less these days. I hope you guys entered the pantry giveaway I did on Instagram for Thanksgiving. I gave away about three massive boxes of all my stuff because we're moving in about a month. But I saved some collagen rich bone broth for myself. Why? Well, because in addition to having collagen and gelatin, which is great for your hair, your skin, and your joints, as we get older, you need that collagen, it's loaded with chondroitin. Chondroitin is incredibly gut friendly and good for your immune system. So there's two ways to take bone broth. Uh, number one, just drink a cup, maybe one or two cups a day. It doesn't matter if it's in the morning or after a meal, warm it up, put a pinch of unrefined salt in there if you want, drink it. It's also very gut soothing. So if you have tummy issues, this is great. Or I use it for soups and stews and chilies all the time. In addition to being so good and good for you, it's very thick and luscious because of the col uh, collagen and gelatin. So it makes amazing soups, so much better than using regular broth or stock. So I like Kettle and Fire best because it's from Austin, Texas, and they just use really, really good ingredients. It's much better than regular broths in stock. And for your immune system, I'm telling you, it's a must. That sale price is pretty darn good too. One of the most gut friendly foods that's also immune boosting is living right here in the grocery store. I've talked about it many times in the past, but fermented products like sauerkraut and pickles and kimchi are really good. Whoa, can you hear this music? Old school U2, Bono rocking out Who's Gonna Ride Your Wild Horses? Art would like that for sure. Nice uh, music choice today, uh, Whole Foods. Uh, fermented foods like sauerkraut, like this. If a sauerkraut or a pickle doesn't have vinegar, it's a natural fermentation, which means it takes longer, but there's probiotic bacteria in here that are incredibly gut friendly. But keep in mind, it's not a probiotic, and it doesn't do the same as a probiotic. It just has gut friendly bacteria that are very good for your immune system and your tummy too. The kind of pickles we eat at home all the time are Bubby's pickles, because once again, there's nothing wrong with vinegar, but when it doesn't have vinegar, it's a natural fermentation. So billions of probiotics in here, just like a uh, yogurt would have, very gut friendly. Uh, what else? Sauerkraut like this, very gut friendly and I come down here, stuff like kefir, not kefir Sutherland, but kefir the drink is very gut friendly. But number one, you have to make sure it's not flavored because anytime there's a flavored ones here, they add cane sugar. How much cane sugar? Eight, eight grams of tea, uh, sugar per one cup. The problem is eight grams of sugar is literally two teaspoons of cane sugar per cup. So you're taking something that was a gut-friendly, probiotic-rich drink and putting cane sugar that actually kills your good gut bacteria and promotes the bad gut bacteria. So you're kind of defeating the purpose. You have to go with plain, ideally organic, otherwise it's GMO. Or if you're dairy-free, something like this. Cashew-based, unsweetened, or Harmless Harvest makes a really good one too. So whether you're dairy-free or dairy-based, you can get your probiotic in there. You can get it from pickles, you can get it from cabbage. It's just gut friendly food that does wonders for your immune system and your tummy. One more great source of zinc are hemp seeds or hemp hearts. Once again, a serving of this has 25% of your daily value of zinc, but also a ton of other stuff there, including copper. And that's three tablespoons. The easiest way to take this would be in a smoothie or on top of your oatmeal bowl, their yogurt and granola bowl, because the raw seeds are soft and creamy. You don't have to cook them. Or if you want, you can make a, like a porridge out of this. I have a recipe, which I'll put a link down below, for pumpkin spice hemp heart oatmeal. And by the way, these are incredibly low carb. So it's a keto diabetic friendly pumpkin spice oatmeal. Recipes in the description box. Uh, these are fantastic. Once again, a little expensive. I would just go to Costco, get the big band, big bag of Kirkland hemp hearts. Fantastic for you. All right, family, that is it here from the grocery store, my second home. Uh, those are the foods you want to start eating, especially now to help boost your immune system and keep you strong and healthy and some of the ones you want to avoid. Uh, but that is it. I'm going to do some shopping that heading home for lunch with Rosie from the store. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.